what is up mtv review it's your girl chloe and i'm back with another youtube video so without further ado let's hop into that thing all right y'all so if y'all have not been watching the popular show bmf why did charles cheat on lucille what ultimately led this couple strange if you look at charles and lucille's relationship from season one compared to season two it's a dramatic difference back in season one they had problems and most of their problems were like money but they still were like close and bonded they didn't let money completely drive them away he would uh charles would always just be there and just be like hey you trust me you, you believe in me i got us i got us like you know she's like all right babe woo -woo. they were still being affectionate towards each other very intimate um i'm not gonna say communication was through the roof but they still had some form of communication but now in season two it's like everything has changed so much one they're barely having any sex and I'm not trying to be like sex is like everything in a relationship, but the lack of sex in a relationship, especially a marriage, you don't know what that could do to a person. You know, in season two, now Charles and Terry, they have went into business. Charles and Lucille, they're not really spending any time together. She was like, oh, babe, like, you know, I just got this. You know, she trying to dress up for him, look all cute and sexy and stuff for him. Like, you know, trying to bring the spark back into the bedroom. He literally was like, you open a credit card in our child's name he was not going for that he was not going for that he just like bro miss me with that you're trying to look all cute sweet and sexy and you ruining our daughter credit we barely have any money to pay off our credit card debt and you will open a whole credit card um in our daughter's um name so what is going on like so lord that just sent them into another spiral but before that charles have been like trying to make attempts to like be sexually intimate with lucille but she kind of just like been turning down like no i don't feel like i'm not in the mood i'm tired but like he's kind of been like you know like a, a person can only withstand rejection for so long like come on now but she ends up going to the pastor their pastor and talking about their problems now charles did not take kind to this he did not like that she was going to talk to the pastor about their problems in the bedroom because like no but the pastor is, is you know he genuinely trying to help but uh charles had threatened the pastor aka snoop dog i don't even remember exactly what he said but like yo like i ain't never hit a man of god before but i will so stop stop talking to me about my problems in my in my uh relationship and he's like all right brother but then he had told him you need to hide the magazines because charles he started like uh reading like magazines like you know the magazine covers like with sexy pictures in them kind of like playboy like some stuff like that and lucille had found them and she was just like you know she's trying to live up to this like dang like he's not looking at me no more he looking at these women in these books but at the same time lucille now come on you cannot be treating your husband like that like your husband he trying to like be sexually intimate with you and connect with you and i know look if you're not in the mood you don't want to you are not obligated to because that's your body but at the same time if it's like a problem or like something going on i feel like instead of always pushing your husband off vice versa with him talk about it talk about what's going on what's what's driving y'all away what's making you not want to do it so we can get down to the root of the problem and solve it so things could start flowing instead of making your partner feel like neglected and stuff in a way so charles he um he would go over to um one of their neighbor's house sometimes and fix up like some of the stuff in her house now if y'all watch the show y'all already can tell she likes him okay she be subtly flirting with him charles he be feeling like a little uncomfortable like he know he he she's flirting with him so he kind of like like you know like not really trying to engage too much but like he just trying to be cordial keep it pushing just get the little money and whoop whoop but this one day this one particular day um his wife had went out of town with their daughter so nobody was home and the wife mind you she thinking that charles is cheating on him with uh one of the ladies in the church because like they be playing like the instruments together and she's like, mm, like what's going on between y'all like y'all a little bit too happy 
up in church playing instruments for God. I'm not liking it. So, you know, she going on this trip and she end up confronting that woman. And she like, you know, I've done a lot of stuff in the past and I've made a lot of mistakes, but I'm not, I'm not that girl anymore. I've changed. I gave my life over for God. So, um, please don't ever try me like that. In so many words, that's what she said. And, um, Lucille was like, I'm sorry. You know, I just, I just had to know, like, I'm sorry. But mind you, she confronted the wrong girl. She confronted the wrong girl. So while they was out of town, Charles, he fixing up the woman's house. And one day, you know, she playing the music, you know, she like, hey, come on, Charles. Like, you know, dance with me. Like, woo, woo, woo. And then he like, oh, you know, I don't really dance. Come on, Charles. Boom. He started dancing and whatnot, getting into it. <sighs> like, in my head, I'm like, all right now, Charles. You know, it ain't nothing wrong with dancing, but don't end up doing no mess that you gonna end up regretting later on. So she like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm throwing a party with some friends over later on. You should come by. He's like, all right, I'll think about it. Surely enough, he ends up going to the party. Y'all, while he was at the party, yo, they giving him drinks and stuff. He like, you know, he all, he all, he be like, I don't drink. But he end up drinking a little wine and whatnot. The party is coming to an end. You know, he like, all right, you know, he about to say goodbye and um, leave or whatever. Y'all, he ends up cheating on his wife. ends up cheating on his wife child when i tell you she came back home i think it was that same day she came back home he trying to like make sure he ain't smelling like all bad and whatnot like whew. and literally y'all literally i think within that same episode he ended up sleeping with his wife how you gonna sleep with her and sleep with her trifling trifling so this guilt is really eating charles up like he is not acting the same this man is normally more angry more hostile this man is like a complete 360 to hit him y'all he ends up taking his wife on a dinner date like babe let's go out on a date like come on let's do something special they end up going on a date and like she um end up telling charles like yo you know i confronted uh the lady at the church because I thought she was sleeping with you. And then he was like, because I thought you was cheating on me with her. And then he was like, uh, like you know, I, I ain't cheating on you with her. Like, you listen to them words. You got to listen to them words, man. He didn't say, I ain't cheating on you. He said, I ain't cheating on you with her. Mm. Mm. So they end up coming from the dinner or whatever. And he was like, you know, saying, oh, baby, I love you. Woo -woo. And here go the thing. I do not doubt that he does not love her in their uh, marriage and whatnot. But Charles, 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 Charles. <laughs> they end up leaving the dinner. And I think the next day he ended up going to his mistress house. And he was just like, yo, I don't want to do this again no more. That was a one-time thing. I don't want to jeopardize my marriage. And literally, she all uh, had this robe on. And then she was just like, you can't even look me in the face and tell me. Y'all, she um un undid her robe. She ain't got nothing on. Look me in my face and tell me. He could, he could barely turn around. She lift up the back of his shirt, get up on him like this. And he like, oh, oh, oh getting all turned on and stuff turn around end up doing her how you end up going over there to tell your mistress hey i'm done with you and end up sleeping with her like bro she is not gonna take you serious and i really hope charles do not mess this up but i know it's gonna catch up to him like mm -mm. some mess gonna end up happening i think either this is what i think is gonna happen either charles is gonna end up getting her pregnant or the wife is going to end up like slowly catching on to his mess. Because I feel like right now he might end up riding this little coattail until he starts slipping. And then his wife is going to be like, hmm. So Charles is going to get caught up if he really don't nip that in the bud. He's going to get caught up for real, for real. The moral of the story, what drives a person to cheat on their spouse? Is it money? Is it lack of affection, lack of communication, um, lack of intimacy? Maybe it's no spice. Maybe it's no sparks no more. Like, what drives a person to cheat 
on their spouse. And if your spouse was to ever cheat on you, would you take them back? Would you forgive them? Could y'all move past it? Or would that really just be the end of y'all relationship? Mind you, if you got kids on top of that, would it make your decision harder to stay or leave? Y'all let me know in the comments. It's your girl, Chloe. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out.